Alright, so I have everything taken apart now. If these don't click, uh, it means that the solenoid, uh, the solenoid is dysfunctional. Um, which is a good chance it does happen. So if that does happen, if these don't actually click and jump the signal from here to across to these posts, then you can just take the 12 volts, to, just to test the motor, just to make sure the motor is okay, just take the 12 volts and run directly into the wires that go into the top of the motor. Just make sure everything's properly grounded here to the negative terminal on the battery. And that'll at least tell you, okay, I have one defective solenoid, two defective solenoids, but at least the motor works. It's a lot cheaper to replace these two things than it is to replace this thing down here. And that's if you can find it. All right, that's all I got.